Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts, and today I'll be showing you how to make a 3D Leonardo Perler bead figure. I was inspired to make this guy after seeing one of my subscribers' profile pictures. It was of Donatello, and it appeared to be one of those nano block projects that looked just like this, except it was Donatello with the purple mask. And immediately after seeing that, since I love turtles, especially TMNT, I decided to recreate it using perler beads. Let's get right to it then. All right guys, so the way I'm going to do this tutorial is I'm going to show you the pieces that I've already ironed and basically what you do is follow how I glue it. And if you want to get the templates for these, I have some pictures that I will post on either my Facebook page or my blog, so please check those out with the links below. Since this is a 3D perler bead project, you'll need your glue gun. And these are Leonardo's feet. So all you have to do is take the brown piece, glue it, and then put it right on top. And then that will be his feet that will support the rest of his body. So do that with the second one. And that's pretty much Leonardo's feet. Make sure to get all of those excess glue that's sticking out to get it off just so it looks nicer. Now let's start with his lower body. If you've seen any of my other 3D Proto B projects, you will know that my middle parts of these pieces are always some random color. And for here, I chose pink because I'll never use that color and I just didn't want to waste my good green beads. So once again, if you don't want to fill this with a random color and you just want to fill it completely with green, just do that. I think it's a bit easier to show you how to assemble this by just stacking them on top of each other. So let's do this first. You can see the yellow part is still sticking out. Then you take this, put it on top, and then you will put this on top of here. And that is the lower body that we will be gluing. And what you can see here is that there's the belt that will be forming here. And just take a look around, see how the things are put together. And now let's glue. As you can see from the back here, the shell is starting to form and the yellow part is his plastron. Turtle terminology, yay! Now that the lower half of the body is done, we'll begin with the upper half. These pieces will make Leonardo's top body. So starting from here, this is the bottom piece and this is the top piece. So it will go one, two, three, four, five. And I'll start from top to bottom so that it's easier to glue and it will look like this. Continually stacking and final placement like that. So you have to make sure that you know which part to glue it on. For instance, this part, you have to glue it right here. Don't glue it here or else that's not the right spot. So go like that and then right on top. Let's get to gluing. Now that the top half is done, you can glue this onto the bottom. So here's the top and bottom. You have to make sure that this aligns like so, so that these belt parts will be sticking out like that, and the shell will be aligned like this, flat. I accidentally glued this part, so I'm gonna show you quickly. 
here is the piece for your arm for Leo's arm actually and all you have to do is just stick this onto here Ooh, can I make it yes so just stick that slightly over so it sticks out and then also get a second one it looks just like the foot piece so just glue that here uh don't be like me don't glue this part that's sticking out okay so that didn't go as planned i wasn't gonna put the arms on yet but that is where they go now that the body is complete it should look like this make sure you know where you're gluing and where to put the pieces together because it can be a bit tricky but this is overall his lower body and now let's start with the head here are the parts for leo's mouth and his beak area yes turtles have beaks and this is the bottom that will be going on top of here all the way to the top make sure that for this piece here it is aligned this is where they will start to go flat like that and the first piece there is a space here so do that and then the easy part is putting this on top of here which then goes on top of here so once again looking this area is completely flat it will work out perfectly like that and then the final piece which will be the beak area hopefully you can recreate this as well It's not perfect, but it will do for now. For Leo's face mask and his just overall his head, this is the bottom all the way to the top. So since this is one of those top pieces, I'll have to start with the smaller piece on top of each other like this. And again, you have to make sure you know where to glue and for here you you see you need to leave out these blue parts and just make it stay like that and then you get this one this one you have to put over here like this it should look like that and then the back here will be aligned perfectly so that you know exactly where to put it and then this piece will go on top here and these eyes will then align Ugh. like that so yes th these two rows of blue they will be protruding out and then here will be an inside part where you can see Leo's eyes then this piece will go right at the bottom and then the final piece where you have to stick his little nose part out I mean his beak so then it will look like that okay let's glue For this next piece, there will be some parts that do not require any glue, as you can see, because it, it goes like this. So try to just glue around it. So let's take a look here. You don't need to glue these two parts, but uh, I think it's just easier to just glue here and then put it on top.
you can grab the lower half of the head and then glue it like this. So getting a closer look, make sure that these three beads are right behind this line of three beads, as you can see. And this part, we will be attaching the straps of the mask. <sighs> and that everyone is Leo's head after all that work. All right, so with these two parts that are already coming out, we will use this piece and then glue it on over here and it will slightly go towards that side. So what we have to do is glue these on top of each other so that it looks like a cool bandana thing. So for the second part of the mask strap thingy, I'm going to play around with it and let's see how it goes. And now we have finished Leo's mask. Now before assembling the head and the body together, we still have to put on Leo's little hands that he will use to hold his swords. They look like little crab claws for now, but once you put on that sword, it will look really cool. Now for Leo's swords, I estimated that I would need around 20 gray beads for the two swords, meaning 10 beads each. And then four black beads, two of each will be the handles. And this will be the bar of the sword that he will be holding like that. Let's make one sword and you can just make two of them. So from my first attempt, you can see that the sword is not the best looking thing. But when you have a camera and hot glue burning your flesh, it's kind of hard to make this little sword. So here's my second attempt. It looks a little better, but yes, it is kind of difficult to make it. But either way, they will do as the blades of the sword. I think now is a good time to proceed with our final assembly. Alright guys, so this is how you make your own TMNT Leonardo 3D Proto Beat figure. I hope it wasn't too complicated for you. It took me almost 12 hours to make him completely because everything I make is always the first try. So I only have one of these Leonardos and I will be making the rest of them. They're, I will be making Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. If there are any of them that you want me to make specifically, 
it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to change the mask color and also the weapon. The designs for all of the pieces are my own. And the design of this thing itself is actually from this Asian knockoff Lego set thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.